A fairy tale wedding in India in October 2010, a year after the couple met in Britain. But weeks later, Ani was dead, murdered on her honeymoon in Cape Town, where police say her husband, Shriyan, hired a crew of hitmen to kill his wife during a taxi ride. Within weeks, police arrested the taxi driver, Zola Tongo, and two others. Tongo was convicted after a plea bargain, where he confessed that Sri and Dewani paid him to carry out the hit and to make it look like the couple were victims of a carjacking gone wrong. In July, a UK court ruled that Dewani should be extradited to South Africa to face trial for his wife's murder. But experts cited in the BBC documentary show Panorama have raised concerns about the case. Some foreign experts have been critical of the way South Africa's police have handled the details of this case. They claim that specifically some fundamental mistakes have been made with key ballistics and forensics analysis. These experts, cited by the BBC, claim that Dewani could not have masterminded the murder. They say the evidence is inconclusive. Video confessions, CCTV footage, phone records and other evidence do not match up. The Panorama Show has upset some members of Ani's family. Why, why? BBC should uh, act as a uh, as a court um, with um, evidence which we don't know where, where it came from uh, and why they should hire all these specialists and experts in forensic and uh, bullet uh, I see I see no reason the South African police stand by their investigation if you believe that our work was not up to standard then that can only be proved before a court of law. So we would like the, uh, Mr. Diwani to come to South Africa. If he's of the view that he's innocent, that will be proven in a court of law. Ani's family says that the BBC's decision to show the documentary may jeopardize any hope they have of seeing Diwani face justice in South Africa. You can challenge their, 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 their um, way of doing it or how they've done it or what they've done it. But that should not be done in a TV studio where, where, where you can cut and show whatever you want to, to, to the public. It should be done in a court of law. The BBC says Panorama strongly believes it is in the public interest for these matters to be aired. The journalism in the program will reflect the results of our investigation and also reflect the family's views about the need for Shriyan Dewani to stand trial in South Africa and on the Panorama investigation itself. Dewani insists it was a carjacking. He remains in Britain and is appealing the court's decision to extradite him to South Africa. Vladimir Dutier, CNN, 